Hi church, good morning or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this devotional from. I hope that you're well. My name is Rua and I am part of our Young Adults team at Manchester Central and I will bring you today's devotional which is from the popular story of David and Goliath which is found in 1st Samuel, Samuel chapter 17. Let's dive straight in. So I want to just first start on the foundation that we are spiritual beings um, experiencing life through our fleshly bodies and we're in a spiritual battle just like Ephesians chapter 6 tells us um, and we need to remember that you know we're not fighting against flesh and blood but we are fighting against spiritual powers. Um, so I just want us to be aware of this as we go through the rest of this devotional. So as I was reading the story of David and Goliath, three things really stood up to me. Um, and they're just things that I want us to be mindful of and to just keep um, at the forefront of our mind, especially as we've just crossed over into a new year. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's, it's been such a long year and we can, even myself personally, can forget certain things. So these are just three um, things that I just want us to be, you know, properly thinking about and aware of as we go forward into the new year. So the first thing is this, the battles that we go through are not meaningless, but they build us up and prepare us for more. You know, Jesus warns us um, in John 16, 33, and he says this, in this world, we will have trouble, but there is also a hope that he has already overcome the world. And, you know, he tells us, you know, that there is better hope and he is that hope, um, you know, and he has overcome the world as well as the tests and, and the struggles that we will go through, um, you know, but these tests, if we if we push through, they, they build our endurance and they build up our strength and, and they produce perseverance within us. So skipping now to um, 1 Samuel, we're at the part of the story where Saul doesn't believe that David can, has what it takes to defeat Goliath. Um, and he says this, um, to David, you are not able to go out against this Philistine to fight him. You are only a young man and he has been a warrior from his youth. And David responds by telling King Saul this, um, by telling him basically how I've already fought a bear and a lion, um, you know, while I was looking after my father's sheep. Um, and he says this, the Lord who has, the Lord who has delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. So from this, um, I want us to go forward in this season remembering the God that we serve and I'm not trying to you know minimize you know the things that we go through and how hard life can be sometimes but let's keep fixing our mind and, rem and reminding ourselves and remembering um, you know the God that has brought us through this x y and z before definitely has what it takes more and more than what it takes to get us through whatever we're going through now just like David you know when he was up against Goliath and he said my God's already brought he might my God's already delivered, delivered delivered me from the hand of the lion um and from the bear will deliver me from you also so let's keep that in mind the second thing is this the weapons that we are using to fight our current battles can determine whether we win or whether we lose. The Bible says um, this, Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armour on him and a bronze helmet on his head. David fastened his sword over the tunic and tried walking around. Because he was not used to them, I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I am not used to them. So he took them off. Then he took, then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream and put them in his pouch of his shepherd's bag and with his sling in his hand, approached the Philistine. So David's being prepared, you know, to go and fight Goliath and, and King Saul and his army, they're like, hey, you're going to need all this weapon, you're going to need all these armour and all these weapons that we used to fight. And David's like, I, I can't fight with this because these are not the weapons that I'm used to. And, and, it, and David knew that if he went ahead and fought Goliath, um, with the weapons he was given he would lose but he had to fight with what he knew best 
Um, so David wasn't used to how Saul and his army fought and he needed to fight in a different way that wasn't popular to man. David used the knowledge and skills that he had learned, um, you know, whilst being in, alone, whilst being with God, while, you know, doing what he was supposed to do, you know, t attending to his dad's um, sheep and his animals. And I believe this is so significant for us um, because it highlights the importance of using the, the skills and the knowledge that God has given us to, to fight and to prepare and just the importance of being with God and abiding with him and being in that secret place where God can equip us and give us all the materials and the resources that we need to fight which again not a physical fight but a, the spiritual fight that we're in and as children of God um, we are set apart the bible says we're in the world but we're not off the world and how we fight our battles is very different to how the world fights our battles but if we stay close enough to god i really believe that he can give us exactly what we need and you know which can be peace which can be wisdom which can be discernment and you know the most important thing that we have to fight is the full armor of god like it says in ephesians 6 and you know the word of god which hebrews 4 12 tells us is alive and active um and most importantly the name of jesus just like david said you come at me well you know with what you have and i come against you in the name of the lord so that leads me nicely into my last point which is um I just want us to remind ourselves of the, the power in the name of Jesus and just having that name to fight um, it just makes all the difference. You know, David said to, Phyllis, um, David said to um, Goliath, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. So simply... Do we hold on to and remember the power in the name of Jesus um, when we're up against our own Goliaths and our own giants? Let's remember the power, the simple power, the sheer power in the name of Jesus that we have to stand on as our firm foundation, as our hope, as our rock, as our defence. You know, let's not be intimidated when, you know, these giants come and we don't know what to do and they seem so big. Um, so I pray that this devotional was encouraging to you and that we would go into this new year strong, ready to persevere, ready to take on whatever may come with renewed mind, with strong minds and remembering that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Stay blessed. Bye.